All right, so here are five things I would never do as a realtor if I was to buy a house. Number one, I would not choose a realtor just from somebody online. Make sure you talk to your friends and family. Find somebody that can be referred to you. If you are moving out of state or something like that and you want to find somebody online, they better have a great social media presence and have a lot of great information for you like I do. You can choose me, but definitely talk to your friends and family for that referral. That's number one. Number two, start looking at homes without a pre-approval. I would never do this. You want to get your pre-approval done so you know what you can afford, what's in your budget, what's going to put you over the edge. And that way you look at the correct homes. You're not just touring around and looking at houses randomly. Number three, I would not go ahead and look at a home just based on the description and the pictures or not pass up on homes that have honestly crappy pictures or a bad description. A lot of realtors out there don't do a great job with describing the houses or putting pictures up. Maybe they've taken them with their own phone instead of paying a professional. Don't skip those homes and a lot of hidden gems out there, especially what's coming up right now. I'm going to take advantage of what's going on in the market. So don't skip those homes just because the pictures don't look great or the description isn't great. Okay. Number four, I would not switch my lender in the middle of escrow. You got to dance with the person that brought you. At this point, you should have already vetted more than one lender. She got numbers you know, your rates, those different things and costs from more than one lender by now. Once you get an escrow, if you decide to switch lenders in the state of California, a lot of places, you have to disclose that to the seller and they can say no. So you want to make sure you have all that done up front because even if you do switch lenders, they let you do that. That new lender jumping in is going to have to work pretty damn fast to get you to close on time and have you not lose your deposit or not let you lose the house. Number five, the last one, I would not sign anything I don't understand. I have a lot of clients. Maybe I'm a very trustworthy guy, but a lot of clients, I send them paperwork and they just blindly sign it by DocuSign without asking any questions. And I'm always like, let's go over these things so you understand what you're signing because you're signing legal documents that are going to bind you to that house. You don't want later to find out that you didn't read something and there was something there that you should have known. So make sure you go through all the paperwork and that your realtor does it as well. Ask the questions you need to ask. No, honestly, no question stupid at this point. You're not a lawyer. You're not a legal expert. You're trying to buy a house. There's enough stress going on already. Read through everything. Ask the questions you want to ask. Those are five things for you as a buyer. I got a bunch more coming later. I'm going to have a seller edition as well. I'll talk to you soon. If you have any other questions, reach out to me. All my information's in there. See ya.